Hello, my name is Hong Chunin, a ninth grade student studying in Kangkun Middle Secondary School. Constitution is the basic principles and laws of a nation, state, or social group that determine the powers and duties of the government and guarantee certain rights to the people. The drafting of constitution in Bhutan is different from other countries as it is an exemplary and courageous act of devolution of power to the people without people's demand. Moreover, the drafting of constitution of Bhutan was initiated by the throne or king which makes it more sacred and unique. The constitution of Bhutan or in Zungha Dugitsa Timchenpo was enacted on 18 July 2008 by the royal government of Bhutan. There are 35 articles in the constitution of Bhutan from which I'll be talking about article number 25 which is the royal audit authority. The article 25 royal audit authority states that number one there shall be a royal audit authority to audit and report on the economy, efficiency, and effectiveness in the use of public resources. Number two, the royal audit authority shall be an independent authority headed by the auditor general, who shall be appointed by the Druk Gyalpo from a list of eminent persons recommended jointly by the prime minister the Chief Justice of Bhutan, the Speaker, the Chairperson of the National Council, and the Leader of the Opposition Party. Number 3. The term of office of the Auditor General shall be 5 years or until attaining the age of 65 years, whichever is earlier. Number 4. The Royal Audit Authority shall without fear, favor, or prejudice, audit the accounts of all departments and offices of the government, including all offices in the legislature and the judiciary, all public authorities and bodies, administering public funds, the police and the defense forces, as well as the revenues, public and other monies received and the advances and reserves of Bhutan. Number 5. The Auditor General shall submit an annual audit report to the Druk Gyalpo, the Prime Minister, and the Parliament. Number 6. Parliament shall appoint a five-member Public Accounts Committee comprising members of Parliament who are reputed for their integrity to review and report on the annual audit report to Parliament for its consideration or on any other report presented by the Auditor General. Number 7. The Royal Audit Authority shall function in accordance with the Audit Act. For watching this video, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.